In this box, we have some of the rarest Blue Tongue Skinks in the United States. Yo! This guy's feisty. All right, guys, what I have in my hands right now is an ivory blue tongue skink, and this is a recessive mutation. What you're looking at is the homozygous version of that recessive mutation, so it is a visual. And this animal, these guys as babies, they're gonna be born with yellows or oranges, but as they get older, they're gonna become a pearl white color. They're gonna be all white, and this guy's actually in shed right now. But look how beautiful this is. And these guys, this is a mutation that's, you know, not new to the Australians, but here in the United States, it's brand new to us. It just became available to most people. Some people were working with them, but now there's a chance for everybody to come in on this mutation. And this is one that I'm really excited about. So we actually have two of these babies we picked up and we have another one that we're gonna offer for sale but we're excited. We house them basically like any other regular blue tongue skink. And the cool thing I like about these new V18 tubs is that they actually have this water bowl feature, so they'll never spill their water, and it just makes it very simple to switch out their water. And you can actually find that on our website. But now, let's go talk about the differences between the white northerns and the ivories. So the ivory are brand new to the United States, and I kind of wanted to show out the differences between some of the white lines we already have in the United States. The main ones are gonna be Fen White, Turner White, and then some call like a Pale Classic or White Line Northern. Now what I have in right here in my hands, this is called a Turner White. So these guys are born actually very normal looking, just a little bit light faded color. And as they get older, they lose that pattern and they get whiter and whiter and whiter. But even at their fullest white, they still retain some of that pattern. As you can see here, they have some black markings um, throughout the bands and just not a true solid white animal. The ivories become a solid white animal, and as you can see here, they completely lack those bands. They have it in yellow, but they have absolutely no black. They're born like that, unlike these guys who lose it and fade as they get older. Now what David has here in his left hand, that's more of a white lying northern. So these guys aren't gonna get as white as the Turner Whites usually. They're, like I said, they are also born more normal. They're gonna have some yellow colorations. Their black is gonna be like faded, almost like a gray, and they will get whiter as they get older, but they retain a lot more of that pattern in comparison to some of these Turner Whites. And these guys can sometimes take years to look like this. Just because you have a Turner White doesn't mean it's gonna turn solid white. If you have an ivory, you know it's gonna be mostly white animal. These ivories are a recessive mutation, meaning that if I breed this visual to a normal, you're gonna get all normal babies, but they're all carrier for the ivory gene. Now, if I breed this baby to either a carrier or another visual, we're gonna get a lot of white northerns in there. Uh, very cool mutation, very excited to work with this. I'm super excited to see like what happens when we mix this with more colorful animals. Like yeah. I wonder if it keeps some of that yellow, some of that orange. So only time will tell. We're super excited to work with these guys. Yeah, and, and it gives us more like certainty of what we're producing too, because a lot of people see Miami snow, they see some of our really high white animals and they're like, I want that, how can I get that? And we got to tell them like, listen, you know, his babies might not look that white. So it's really like, we don't know, but when we do breed these ivories and we do hatch out white babies, we know for a fact they're gonna be all white, pearl white their whole lives. But anyways, now I got my little guy here with the lid. We're gonna go take a picture of this guy and post him up the website. If any of you guys are interested, these guys are high dollar amount right now, but eventually, you know, the prices will kind of regulate, but this is a really high-end morph we're excited to work with, and it's a great opportunity for any breeder that's looking to get into the blue tongue skink world. All right, guys, if you want to follow what's going on with the Ivory Blue Tongue Skink Project, make sure you follow us on our social media. Check out our other videos if you're interested in learning how to keep one of these guys, and we'll see you guys on the next video.